you know, even though there was a program that served uh, Students who have been involved in the criminal justice system can face significant barriers to academic and career success. Rising Scholars is an organization who hopes to change that. Um, the general premise of Rising Scholars is to support folks that are coming home um, or have, have any experience with the criminal legal system and want to continue their higher education, um, whether that means you know continuing to a BA or PhD or the trades. And the goal of that is to give folks more options so that they don't return to carceral spaces. Representatives from other Rising Scholar programs around the state at schools such as Fullerton and CSUN came to the meeting last Thursday in person and on Zoom. Their goal is to help campus faculty set their own programs up here at College of the Canyons. Um, I'm just hoping to achieve uh, more equity for our students and um, to basically just teach more students, bring education also to the community to see if we can get more community involvement with these students and help in terms of um, employment, uh, employability, accessibility to community resources, things like that. One of these students, Lily Gonzalez, was a formerly incarcerated individual who now hopes to teach others about how valuable Rising Scholars is by reflecting on her own past. When Rising Scholars is personally important to me because I identify as someone that has been directly impacted by incarceration. I am formally incarcerated. I came home in um, 2011 and I know the power of higher education and um, higher education also re reduces recidivism. Um, if folks have a bachelor's degree, the recidivism rate is probably 3% instead of 76% and for folks with a master's degree, that's zero. People like Lily have made it a goal in life to give others the same opportunity she was given all those years ago. Rising Scholars is that opportunity. We hope to see Rising Scholars be more prominent on campus. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Xander Grable.